Hey everybody, I'm Lance Goyke. Today we're talking about the one hand elevated push up. So I have my trusty uh, Ship It journals by Seth Godin and a company that makes office products named Moo, like the cow. Highly recommended. I should put a link in the description for you. Um, they're beautiful. Anyways, what we're using them for is to elevate your hand during a push up. So we've talked about elevating both hands to kind of reduce the load on the push-up. That's a great uh, beginner variation where you can still learn how to keep your entire body straight and keep all your weight on your toes and not do those knee push-ups. But it, it makes it a little bit easier so that your upper body can actually do it and get a few reps to train with. Um, this is not that. This is a way to twist yourself. So I'm using this this block here, these three beautiful notebooks, um, to twist my upper body. Now when I get to the top, I'm gonna make sure that I reach long with both arms and it's gonna actually twist my back a little bit. So it's the same setup as a, a normal standard push-up. I'm gonna take these off. Um, I get my hands firm, spread my hands, spread my fingers out a little bit. And then I'm gonna tuck my hips I'm gonna push my upper back or my neck away from the ground and I'm just gonna keep it there. I come down like a normal push-up and then when I get to the top, I finish long with both arms and I get this little twist. And you can switch sides and you can do both sides. Or if you have a particular reason, maybe you just do one side at a time. Maybe you're having a little bit of trouble reaching with your left arm. Maybe you only want to put it under your left hand. Little, uh, little tidbit there for you. <laughs> um, this is a really cool variation. Um, it can be very corrective as long as you're strong enough to do them, right? Um, I haven't ever tried doing this kind of variation with like both hands elevated, i.e. putting this on the couch and then doing push-ups from there. Uh, the, just the, the leverage doesn't seem like it would work. It definitely wouldn't work with these because they're super slick. Um, if you notice that you have arm asymmetries, shoulder mobility asymmetries. Maybe you lift your hands up and, and this one is harder to get back than this one is. Then this is a really good option for you to explore. Maybe, maybe try to see which ones is, which side is more difficult and maybe film it and see what it looks like. Maybe they feel equal, but when you look at them, they don't look equal. And so the trick will be to make them look even, but maybe not feel even. You'll probably feel all sorts of cockeyed. A little anecdote, <laughs> I filmed this one last week with a, a nice book back there, uh, The Laws of Human Nature by Robert Greene. Uh, nice author, highly recommended. And <laughs> as I was editing the video, it looked like garbage. So I will say that even for relatively fit people, uh, this can still be a challenge, so. <laughs> Moderately fit people, maybe, is a better way to say it. Um, highly recommended, though, the, the Focus Ship It journals. Highly recommended trying this variation, and uh, especially if you have any sort of upper body asymmetries, just make sure you're securing the pelvis first and make sure you're pushing the neck away from the ground because otherwise you're just locking your thorax. You're not going to let it rotate when you do that full reach at the top.